there, it's Board Game Dave. So, story time. I'm a man who likes my metal coins. You probably know this already. So, a few months ago, this company reaches out to me by email and they say, hey, we liked your metal coins video. Do you mind if we send you some metal coins? I'm instantly intrigued. I said, what kind of coins are we talking? They said they're from Pirate Gold Poker. Now, I'm not a big poker fan, although I like my occasional Texas Hold'em. Then I'm scrolling through their website and I am in all of these coins. I mean, they're just so beautiful and piratey and Aztec looking and Pirates of the Caribbean vibe, right? And everything just looks so gorgeous. So I email back and I'm like, hey, okay, what are you trying to send me? And they're like, we want to send you the metal coins. I said, I get that. Are we talking like a sample pack? Are we talking like 60 coins, a little variety pack? They said they want to send me a whole bunch of stuff. Long story short, I get literally in installments. I mean, this is how much stuff they sent me. I get wave after wave of packages and I'll keep thinking, is it over? Until I finally end up with the enormous collector's bundle of loot. This thing is extraordinarily impressive and very heavy. I actually just weighed it. I think, unless my math is wrong, this is about 15 pounds worth of metal coins. I think I've carpal tunnel from literally lugging this around from, you know, poker night to poker night. But let me bust this thing open and show you these unbelievably next level coins. So first of all, I love that it comes, okay, let me show you like this. It comes in this burlap sack, which is so awesome, pirate gold poker set. And then inside of that is this lovely wooden case with this burnt in pirate gold poker set logo. Let's take a look at this on the table here. Hopefully you can see that okay as I bust these open. So there you go. I have right here 300 metal coins that they send me. This is a, I believe, $329 value. And we're talking about these insane, thick, heavy, big, I mean, so much bigger than I expected. I'm used to metal coins from board games, you know, and they're small and they're dainty and they're they're certainly not poker chip size. These, I feel like are big even for poker chip standards. They are so, I mean, you know, they're so big. <laughs> and I've got these heavy weighty gun metal ones that have the hole in the middle. And then I've got, well, let me just leave these out. And then I've got uh, a whole stack of copper. So 100 gun metal, 100 of these copper ones. Right there, love that jingle jangle. You know that about me. And then I've got 50 of these silver ones. These seem even heavier. They really have more heft. I don't know if they're thicker, but they definitely are heavier. Of course, no hole in the middle either with that skull design there. And then I've got 50 of the gold ones right here. So that's your four denominations. You got the gun metal, you got the copper, you got the silver, you got the gold. Big, heavy, chunky coins. Also, in this big bundle of loot, they sent me two packs of playing cards, which I'll go ahead and show you right now, as well as this Kraken dealer chip right there. Very, very cool Kraken right there. So I'll leave that right there in the middle. And then these cards are so unique. They're really, really interesting. So here's your two jokers. And then here are the cards like so. Really interesting design. Love that card art. Really interesting with the queens and the kings here, of course, uh, with the, the different suits there as well. So there's your deck of cards like so, really lovely stuff. I wanted to talk about really quickly some of the pros and cons and maybe pitch this to you as a poker set you might be interested in if you wanna elevate your poker nights to something way more thematic and immersive and piratey and swashbuckling. Let's take a look at some pros and cons. So obviously the first pro is just how gorgeous and lovely and incredibly well designed everything here is. There are beautiful designs on these chips. Let me give you a little zoom in there. You've got this skull there. I love, again, there seems to be the sort of Aztec flair to the coins. I don't think I'm making that up. I think that's kind of what they're inspired by, but it still has that piratey feel. So everything's beautiful. It's heavy. Again, a 15 pound box of extraordinary coins. I mean, you take a stack of these, that is so heavy in your 
And oh my gosh, it's insane. Uh, obviously the box, the bag that it came in, it's kind of a big conversation started. This has been sitting on my uh, board game shelf in the living room of our new house. And this is just something people look at and say, wow, what on earth is that giant box in that burlap sack or whatever, right? This is a conversation starter. It's gonna get people excited about playing poker with you. I ended up playing poker with people who as far as I can tell, I had no interest in playing poker, but I showed them these, you know, coins and talked about how excited I was to try them out. And I was able to rope some people into playing poker with me. I should point out, by the way, that every 60 coins came in its own bag. So I've got all these other bags as well, which I'm not sure what I'll use them for, but I do really like the burlap kind of component. And there's another name for it, but the hemp bag. I really love that. One other pro, is that there's no um, denominations on these coins. So you can use this for your casual, you know, uh, not so serious poker night and the gum metal could be one and the copper's two and the silver's five and the gold is 10, right? Or you could do 10, 25, 50, 100, or you could go for 100, 200, 500, 1000 or whatever, right? These can scale to whatever you need them to because they don't have any denominations on them, of course, right? And of course, again, the box, the cards, the design, the way everything kind of fits together seamlessly with that aesthetic choice they went for. I just think it's fantastic. There are so many pros. The biggest one being just how nice these coins are for sure. Oh, and one other pro I should mention is because these coins are generic and they don't have denominations on them, you can use them with board games. You don't have to just use these for poker. Uh, you could use these with Maracaibo, right? Another pirate game that uses ones and twos and fives. These would be perfect for Maracaibo. You could use the generic gunmetal coins. There's a hundred of them. You could use that with a game like Jamaica or with the new Libertalia Winds of Gale Crest, another pirate game. You could use these coins as your metal coins. So any piratey game that uses coins, there you go. These are perfect for them because again, there's no denominations. You can use them for whatever you need them to be. But now let's talk about some of the cons. And there are some, as much as I want to love every single part of these coins, there are a few cons starting with the lack of denominations. So as much as that's a pro and that lends this to be a much more flexible and versatile set of poker chips, it can be a little bit tricky when you're playing a home poker night and the first time you bust these out, people might get confused between the gum metal and the copper. And in the low light, you might be able to see how, you know, the gum metal and silver can be a little bit confusing if they're mixed up together. Of course, I always try to stack my chips in value by uh, denomination, so that helps a little bit, but you know, Without them being printed on the coins, they might there might be confusion about, oh, is silver 25 or 20? You know, is the gold ones 25 or 50? You can sort of see uh, how that would get confusing. And not to mention even the ranking of the coins, you know, from the gun metal to the copper, to the silver, to the gold, that's a little bit arbitrary and people might get confused and think that maybe the copper ones are worth more than the gold or whatever. So it's important that you establish at the beginning of the poker night what the values are and try to remind people along the way. So that's one small con. Uh, they're a little bit hard to distinguish. One other thing that lends to that whole confusion, I think, is, and this is a curious choice that they made, the creators of these coins. So there's four different denominations, but they only use two different designs, which can be a little bit confusing. So you'll notice that the gunmetal and the copper coin have the same design, the hole in the middle with the uh, kind of cardinal directions there. Same design, different material. That's certainly fine. And then the gold and silver, same thing. Same design, different material. That works, that's okay. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. But again, having four different designs that might have helped sort of differentiate the coins a little bit more when they're being tossed around and thrown into a pot, it can get a little bit tricky is all I'm saying. Speaking of throwing coins into a pot, you should never, if you don't know too much about poker, you should never splash the pot. That's really bad etiquette. And it's definitely, la definitely loud when you're using these chips like so. Okay, very noisy. And that's another con. If you are someone who's a little bothered by noise and clanging, hearing this all night for a three hour poker night is gonna start driving you nuts. A lot of people who play poker a lot, they can't help but, you know, play with their poker chips and stack them and shuffle them and do all sorts of coin tricks. That 
has the potential to get very uh, noisy and distracting over the course of several hours of playing poker. So if that seems problematic, something to keep in mind. If you're playing on a felt table or something, that might help a little bit, but there's no getting around metal coins. They just are noisy. I know I have a lot of metal coins. Another con potentially, the cards. So the first time I introduced these with some older folks who were playing poker with me, oh, I should not put these in there like that. <laughs> the first time I played poker, I actually showed them these cards and then we ended up using a standard deck of cards. These cards for as amazing as they are and as much as I love the aesthetic, they're a little bit hard to read. So one thing I'll point out is a normal deck of cards, the six of hearts, there are six hearts in the center of the card. They didn't do that. They just put the suit in the middle for the standard, you know, one to 10. So that's kind of an odd choice. Um, one other thing that can be a little confusing, the suits. So obviously you know that that's spades and you know, that that's an ace of hearts. Although again, the hearts are very small in the corner. So the ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds, I don't know if I can find it quickly, but uh, they look very similar, right? And uh, to the same point, the jacks and the queens and the kings, they have this sort of non-standard, um, you know, marking. And that can be a little bit confusing to people who aren't super familiar with, you know, a standard deck of cards. And even if it lends to a little bit of confusion, if that calls somebody, I don't know, let's say you're playing a cash game and there's, hundred bucks on the line and somebody says, oh, I didn't realize that ace was the ace of diamonds. I just saw the A and thought it was ace of hearts. You know, you could see how that could get a little bit, you know, uh, problematic. So the cards, I love them. I'm certainly happy to use them anytime, any place. But again, they might be a little bit confusing to somebody who's first seeing them for the first time. Okay. One other thing is this Kraken token. Now, I love this token that I saw on the website. I was really excited to get the token. It's a little bit small and I think, you know, objectively, sure, it's, it's a decent size, but when the coins are this big, the Kraken token kind of gets lost in the shuffle. You know what I'm saying? It would have been nice if this was significantly larger than the coins, so you have a big hefty coin to kind of pass around the table. As it is, it just seems a little bit too, uh, you know, it, it just gets lost in the shuffle is all I'm saying. A bigger token, a thicker token, something a little bit more substantial would have been helpful. Also, if you enjoy playing with the small blind, big blind tokens, you won't get any of those in this game. Of course, you could maybe supplement it with your own tokens, but you won't find those in the box. And the final con is the cost, which of course we need to talk about. I got all of this for free. We're talking the box, we're talking 300 metal coins, two decks of cards, the Kraken token, the bags, all of this for free, but it is a $329 value. That is a lot of money. There's no way around it. That's a hefty price point for everything that's included. Is it worth it? Honestly, I think you have to decide that for yourself. Do the pros outweigh the cons? Do, you know, does the noise bother you? Or maybe that's kind of a part of the appeal of the metal coins, you know? Do you mind not having denominations? Maybe you like that they're generic and versatile? That's great. Do you love the design of these cards? Maybe that's a pro for you as well. If you feel like this is a set that you're gonna be able to use either with your poker nights or, you know, again, use it with some pirate themed uh, board games, you might love to get this in your collection and spend that $329 as an investment, as something you're gonna have for the rest of your life that you can bust out and wow people with. You know, I'm not gonna play poker every Friday night. I play poker very, very rarely, but even still having this up on a shelf that I can get out once in a while and show people and have this amazing, again, immersive thematic poker night as we listen to Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack music, that's awesome. That's a very, very worthwhile investment to me. If you're not interested, by the way, in all of this, you can, and I'll take a look at the website really quickly, you can build your set for as cheap as $80. You can just get, you know, uh, some of the coins. You don't have to get the whole 300 pack. They come in packs of 60, just so you know. You can get just the cards. If you really enjoy these cards, go ahead and get some of those. You could just get the box or add that onto your uh, a la carte uh, option there. And 
if you're on the fence and you just want to kind of feel these for yourself, for $5, you can get yourself a sample pack, which again, they sent to me. I don't know why, but they sent me the sampler pack, which includes two coins, the gunmetal and the gold. So you can kind of, you know, feel them, get a feel for the heft, the clanginess, take a look at the design. And if you like it, then go ahead and buy, you know, more of those coins. By the way, uh, just so you know, for sticking around this long, there is a QR code on here. It says scan the QR code right now to claim your $30 voucher and unlock more deals. I don't need the QR code. I don't know if you are able to scan this, but if you can, you know, first one uh, can have dibs on the QR code to use that for uh, whatever your future purchase, I suppose. So I don't know what the asterisk is, but for what it's worth, there's your QR code there. And for everybody else, Thank you so much for checking out this review of an extraordinary set of metal coins, Pirate Gold Poker set. Thank you so much to the people over there for sending me this. I am beyond overjoyed to have this extraordinary set of coins. Guys, I know I'm gushing about it and I don't know what to tell you. I love metal coins. I wouldn't have a shirt like this. My wife made this for me, by the way. That's how much I love metal coins. It's it's something that people know about me and my board gaming friends get uh, slightly, oh, irritated. Maybe they just get a little bit overwhelmed with how much I talk about metal coins and obsess about them, but guys, it, there is no better way to get immersed into a game, into a poker night, into an experience than by tactile, heavy, hefty coins. You know this about me. I made a whole video about my favorite metal coins and board games, so you can check that out at your own leisure. But in the meantime, everybody, have a wonderful week. Take care and happy gaming. Bye.